Hi, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I have uh, these tasks written in front of me. Our main task for this video is going to be to show which users are online and which users are offline. So our first subtask is to create CSS classes. So I'm going to open index.css over here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to write two classes. One is going to be online, obviously, and one is going to be offline. So first, uh, our background color has to be. So I'm going to use 4CD137. Yeah, this is going to have position not relative absolute. And it's so I have bottom zero, it should be at a left of 40 pixels. Um, its height is going to be 20 pixels, width is also going to be 20 pixels. I want it to have a border, a white border, three pixels solid, um, white, and gonna be around so it's supposed to be border radius 50% so all of this is going to be same except for our background color which is going to be red so for that it's going to be CE uh, 1515 nice so our first task is done let's move on to second task which is adding CSS classes both of these online and offline to our HTML. So let's go inside our chat window, not chat window, sorry, chat JSX. Down here, inside our uh, users, our users.map, where we are entering users, inside our column, flex column. Here, just below the image, I'm gonna write a span. which is going to have a, not children class name now i need to put a condition over here obviously it's going to be user dot connected if this is true then i want the class online otherwise i want offline there we go our second task is also done third is going to be updating use can I user connected event and have a create use uh, callback function and create handle connection status okay yeah so here let's um, put all of this inside a use callback function so I'm gonna say constant um, use user connected equals um, use callback there you go inside this inside this I'm gonna put this um, or brackets I don't need to include brackets so here and I want to put deconstruct this inside here and I just need to simply put user inside here call this user connected function and pass in the user object that should do it so now i need to um if this user is connecting i need to um, change this property this connected property so let's do that so here uh, if we are having to check we are having to check if user exists and I don't like this not operator over here it's it's a bit difficult to read you don't catch it uh, uh, at a first glance so I'm gonna put this on an else inside the else block here if user exists I need to find the uh, user index so I'm gonna say users dot find 
index and inside this has to be an arrow function and say u u dot user id um equals 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 user id and i'm going to put this uh, this is going to return the user index then i'm going to say users of user index dot connected equals true and then i'm going to say set users because we are changing this connection we need to reset this we reset our um, users um, array i'm going to spread this i'm going to spread this inside our set users function so we can pretty much extract this and make it a new function make it a new callback function so i'm going to do that here i want to say constant handle um, connection status equals use callback here i want an arrow function inside uh, with dependencies did i put dependencies and user connection no i didn't thought so i didn't um here here i want to put three uh or four sorry a uh, user users and set users set users and also the third which is going to be this one sorry fourth it's going to be this one until connection status and let's continue with this now inside here i'm gonna cut this and paste it inside and i'm gonna call this function inside here so what do i want to pass i want to pass the user id and the actual connection status so which is going to be true and here i want to pass I want to give the parameters as user ID and also status and I'm going to copy this and the, I'm going to assign the status to whatever we are passing inside our function. So where, where, where is this going to be useful uh, when we are going to write user disconnected event. There uh, this code is going to get repeated so that's why I separated now otherwise later. Uh, instead of later so that's that now let's write our dependencies inside here here dependencies are going to be users and set users there we go so now we have handled we have written this function handle connection status now let's check our next step this task is going to be handling this connect event on the server side so uh, i'm gonna go on my server side here i need to write an event down here which is going to be socket dot on disconnect so in the last video i told you guys that uh, this event is going to get called when our uh, when the user uh, gets disconnected from our socket server this is automatically going to get called so inside this uh, i'm going to write our um, a few things i want to notify not notify notify um first i want to notify other users that other users that uh, i'm disconnected that this user is disconnected I can't spell today and next is going to be I have to update the uh, session so this, this session that we are at saving over here uh, as you can see we are uh, putting connected true over here uh, here after disconnecting we are going to update our uh, uh, our session 
against our user ID. Uh, we're going to set it to false. And as you can see, if a new user is connected and we are not connected, uh, this is going to get called. So our session dot connected status uh, should be false if we are not connected. So let's do that. Um, I need to be uh, perfectly sure that uh, user is disconnected. So there is a so there is a method for that. So it's going to be io dot in and on. It's going to be in. I'm going to pass in our socket dot user id and I'm going to say dot all sockets. Now this is going to return a promise, so I'm going to await it. Uh, if you are writing await over here, so this function is going to be an async function. And here I wanna, I'm gonna receiving the uh, matching sockets. Uh, this socket with the, uh, I'm gonna receive the socket with this user ID. So and this matching socket is gonna have a property size which we are going to compare. So I'm going to name this as matching sockets equals. And next is going to be matching sockets dot size. And if this is zero, which means it's disconnected, then I'm going to store this is disconnected equals this is going to store a boolean. So first I want to notify my users. So I'm going to say if is disconnected, right? Uh, first I want to notify my users and then I want to update the session. So I'm going to socket dot broadcast to all the connected users that this user has disconnected. So this name of the event is going to be disconnected, user disconnected, excuse me. Let's see if I spell that right, C O C N E C T E D. Okay, user disconnected. And uh, here I'm going to pass in which uh, user has disconnected. So I'm going to pass in user ID, which is going to be socket dot user ID. Mm, let's pass in the user name as well. Why not socket? dot username and finally let's save our update technically our session which is going to be against our session id so socket dot session id and inside this we pass our updated session object so it's going to be user id which is going to be um, socket dot user id Next is going to be user name. Socket dot user name. And third is going to be connected, which is going to be socket dot connected. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, update the session. Update the technically we are not updating the session, but we are updating connection status of the session right yeah so yeah this is it on the server side the next task is actually handling the uh, user disconnected event on the client side if you remember we bro broadcast this user event user disconnected event so now let's handle this inside here um, user connected I'm going to just below this, I'm going to write socket dot on um, user disconnected. And here I'm going to pass the arrow function. I'm going to write a function over here, which I'm going to declare above. User disconnected. This is going to have a user parameter. Pass in user inside here. And I'm going to write constant um, user disconnected equals use callback it's going to have order function and dependencies 
here I wanna deconstruct this it's gonna have user ID and user name and here I wanna call handle connection status of that user and this is gonna be false because user is disconnected and I'm gonna pass in this inside. so we'll remove this we don't need it actually let's put this inside here so it's much more readable now or you can uh, keep it like it was before doesn't really matter to put both these inside our um, use effect so there we go nice um, I need I'm gonna remove some of this because I don't think we are using uh, I'm, not, I'm not using find user I'm not using users set users no messages I think we are using messages yeah set messages yep there we go that's much cleaner and much easier to look at um, inside here uh, I'm gonna put a condition just to be safe because um, I don't think uh, this is going to get um, the user ID is going to get passed at the first render this is going to be undefined so this is going to return something like minus one um, I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna say user result user index greater than equals to um, zero then and only then I want this to happen um, it's safe that you write this condition in our handle connection status just to be safe uh, better safe than sorry and also I think I missed a um, function here yep I think I need to put this inside as well seeing as this is coming from outside um, now let's run the project yep uh, it's compiled successfully now let's check in our browsers so here on chrome i'm gonna log in with my name and mozilla let's log in with john see you get my name and seeing the status as i'm online let's go to uh, cindy actually let's check my chat yep you see John is online as well let's go to third window and Cindy yeah you see both um, my name and John's name joining in if I go on my chat window you see Cindy is logged in and if I go on John's yep see this is proved now let's uh, close someone's tab I'm gonna close Cindy's tab see Cindy has gone offline let's check out it is yep Cindy has gone offline so that's it um, we now have uh, users status um, if the user is connected which is, which means the user is online or offline 